Okay, welcome, 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 welcome. Monday Night Raw review. What do we got going after on this show after WrestleMania Backlash, Backlash, or whatever you want to call it from last night? Make sure you check out my review that is posted up online right now from last night on Backlash. It's uploaded, so uh, check out that video when you can. WrestleMania Backlash review, it's up right now. But Monday Night Raw, what do we kick off? We kick off with a celebration for the WWE Champion himself, Bobby Lashley. MVP came out to give out the big, uh, you know, introduction, everything. Um, Lashley, basically, some will be calling Bobby Lashley right now the bro, not the bro, but the Bob fighter or the guy fighter. Basically, Bobby Lashley came out. He had the hoes with him, which um, I got to say, three of those uh, women look very good. Three of them look really good. I'm like, okay. I like what I see right here. So, Lashley, he brought the hose. I'm not mad about that. You know, basically, the man is out there just uh, shining right now as the champion. MVP basically said, did not come through, through for you? Did not come through? Basically, he went on to say that Lashley still retained the WWE title last night in a triple threat match with an injured fist, you know, from punching his challenges last night. And how about this? We're going to have an open challenge tonight to anybody that wants a shot at the champ tonight, Okay. Uh, Drew came out there and basically saying, listen, you didn't beat me. You beat Braun Strowman, but you didn't pin me in that triple threat match. Drew basically uh, went in uh, and said, you know, listen, uh, I couldn't think of a better way to impress you in front of your um, you know, lovely ladies right here. Basically, you could defend that WWE title tonight. Drew basically said, I accept the challenge. MVP basically went on to say, uh, listen, I ain't finished yet. The open challenge is for anyone in the locker room. Other than you, Drew, or Strowman. So anybody can get a shot tonight. Lashley tried to swing on Drew, but uh, Drew ducked it. Ended up taking Lashley down with a punch in. Basically, MVP and uh, Lashley, you know, just kind of got out the ring. MVP was holding him back and whatnot. So um, an open challenge for anybody tonight that wants a shot at Bobby Lashley. But um, good segment in the beginning of the show. Next, AJ Styles with almost there when against Elias uh, with uh, Riker. I'm assuming this is a heel versus heel match, I guess. Aren't both of these teams heel or Lash or um, AJ and them are faces? Don't know um, where that's going, but I'm like, is this like a heel versus heel match? It ended up being a DQ finish. Lashley was going to... Why well, keep saying Lashley? AJ was going to go for the phenomenal forearm, uh, but um, Gunner there ended up grabbing his legs then. Next, you know, um, almost ended up chasing him to the back. Um... Elias tried to attack AJ then right after almost came in as Elias ran off then. So um don't know where that's really gonna go. I'm assuming they're gonna be next in line for the tag titles. I don't know who's next in line for the tag titles, but hey, AJ and almost is still champions. That's all I really need to know. Uh they did have a commercial, which a very longer commercial. They don't really promote a lot of NXT matches, but they were doing that for tomorrow night with the steel cage match between Gargano and Bronson Reed. Um Matt Riddle was in the back with the New Day. You know, say if they got his letter and everything. Basically, we're going to talk to Adam Pierce and whatnot, but I guess Adam Pierce wasn't there. And Orton basically went on, uh, talked about, you know, the snake mentioned, uh, seemed like a shot against him and whatnot. As Riddle basically said, listen, man, I got you all together. It's all just apologizing and everything. He went to Orton to apologize to the New Day. Uh, Orton says, I'm not, that's not going to happen. New Day says, we don't need to accept an apology from Orton, okay? Because we know... What Orton does, and Kingston tried to warn Riddle, like, you need to watch yourself before you end up getting an RKO, okay? And how about this? I can challenge you right now tonight, Orton. Let's go, all right? You want some? 2009, 2019, whatever it is, let's do it. So um, that was going to be a match for later on the night. Alexa Bliss had her playground segment or whatever. I guess she had the Lolita Puppet and even had Natalia and um, Tamina there. The new women's tag champs, um, Bliss was going to ask them questions. Uh, Bliss, you know, uh, what's your favorite color? Natalia said pink, and Tamina said it's going to be black and blue, which that's going to be you if you try to do anything weird right now. Bliss said that's not nice, and, um, you know, Tamina's lucky that Lily likes her, and, uh, you know, I can, I, you know, figure a way to get rid of Reginald and whatnot. But Tamina, Tamina said, you know, I got no problem doing it. We got a rematch tonight, so let's go. Bliss, you know, end up asking Lily if, uh, you know, wish the champions luck and everything because they will be watching. Why do I feel like they're going to have Bliss and her little puppet Lily there go for the tag titles? I have a bad feeling about that. I don't know why, but I have a really bad feeling about that. 
the puppet and Bliss versus Tamina and Natalia. Think about that. Well, then again, come on, we've seen stupider shit on the show already. Come on, we saw zombies last night. So, um, how could it get any stupider? I don't know. Uh, Garza went against Drew Gulak. It's like the third week in a row now. Which Garza ended up winning and he put a rose in his mouth. At least he didn't shove the rose up his ass like he did for the past two other weeks. So, uh, it went up his mouth this time. Our truth was in the back with the 24-7 title. I haven't seen him in a while. End up with Tozawa. End up um, rolling up, taking that 24-7 title away from him. So there you go. We got a lot of even re-promo videos tonight on this show. So um, uh, still trying to see where that's going. Orton went against Kofi Kingston. Um, Kingston ended up getting a win on Orton by the roll-up. Uh, Orton had left the ring. Riddle, you know, tried to keep everything cool and whatnot. But Riddle ended up pushing uh, the New Day back then. We ended up pushing Woods at the, um, you know, Woods tried to grab his arm. And he pushed him onto the mat then. So could Riddle be turning on, um, well, I guess maybe being heel and going with Orton more and more, turning more heel? We'll see. I will say I did kind of find it funny in their entrance when um, Orton was coming out and Riddle was standing behind him, kind of singing along to his theme song and doing his entrance pose with him while they doing like the Legend Killer entrance with the pyro. So um, I actually thought that was pretty funny. Um, some of the women's division was in the back. Uh, basically, they were in the um, office with uh, Adam Pearson, Sian DeVille, saying, why are we here? Charlotte shows up saying, listen, these women have had millions of chances, and they've blown them all. Yeah, just like you did last night, uh, Dana Brooks said. Uh, next thing you know, Sian DeVille said, just told other teams, listen, Charlotte, uh, we have a private matter to discuss, so everybody left. And basically talking about the whole triple threat match from last night. Uh, Ripley came in. As uh, Charlotte said, you didn't pin me, so I should still get a title shot. Ripley called her yesterday's news, so it's going to have to be a match for her and Oscar tonight. Um, Tamina and Natalia went against Baszler and, Jack and Jax for a rematch for the tag titles, which Alexa Bliss ended up coming out there. And as, you know, Baszler puts in a care through the clutch, we got Kane's pyro going off and Reginald falling backs, and uh, basically... Baszler ended up getting hit with the heart attack um, finish, clothesline and whatnot for the win. So Tamina and Natalia still won. But yeah, Baszler lost the fire. Fire. She got distracted by fire and she lost, okay? She got distracted by fire. Why was this even a rematch? Well, yeah, we know why it was a rematch. But still, I still have a bad feeling they're going to they're gonna have to puppet and Bliss go against um, Tamina and Natalia for the titles. I'm telling you right now. Next, probably one of the best matches on the show tonight. I didn't watch the pre-show yesterday, so I did not see this match between Sheamus and Ricochet. Now, I'm sure they tried to give Ricochet some type of um, personality or whatever they did right here when he got, I guess he stole Sheamus' clothes and saying, hey, let me tell you something. Yeah, fella, we're going to go out there tonight. I'm going to fight Sheamus. I'm going to go for that U.S. title. I'm going to go and put on a bad Irish accent, lad. Make me sound like, uh, you know, Finn Balor or maybe Sheamus. I'm not good at these uh, accents right here. But I sound like an Irishman, don't I? But Ricochet, he didn't do a good accent. I'll tell you that right there, lad. 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 Obviously, this is one of the best matches of the night. I didn't mind this. I don't really give a shit about Ricochet that much, or I'm sure a lot of people don't. Um, Sheamus ended up winning, winning a kick with a bro kick in midair, which looked pretty cool. Like I said, it was probably the best match of the night. I did not watch the pre-show yesterday, so... But yeah, though, this was a really good match, though, between Sheamus and uh, Ricochet. Like I said, I don't know how the one went on the pre-show yesterday, but I'm kind of glad I saw this match now. Even though it, like, it was an open challenge, I'm surprised it even went on this long tonight. But a very good match, though. Um, also, throughout tonight, we had different people challenging Lashley, I guess, from Mason T-Bar to, um, what, um, who else challenged? It was like a lot of people trying to challenge Lashley tonight, thinking they were going to accept this, um, Open challenge and everything going on. So that was going to happen. Um, Charlotte went against Asuka. Ripley was on commentary where she just kind of sat by the announce desk. Listen, Charlotte and Asuka always put on a really good match. So it's not much I can really say from here. Like I said, they, they always put on good matches. So this is nothing new. Um, Asuka 
at least got the win this time with a roll up over Charlotte, which honestly Oscar needed a win anyways because Oscar has lost for a good minute now. She lost last night. She lost last week to Ripley. She lost the WrestleMania to Ripley. So at least she got a win, and I guess it's somewhat still in the title picture. I actually thought she'd be out of the title picture after losing again last night, but she got a win right here. So at least that's something I should say because um, she's been taking – L's a lot of L's lately so at least you got the L uh, at least you got a win right here tonight uh John Morrison who is actually still alive um asking where Miz is at so he may never be the same and he's going to dedicate this to the memory of the Miz so apparently the Miz is dead or undead <laughs> resident evil WWE I guess I the Walking Dead. I'm not gonna do the Walking Dead theme song, but um, Morrison survived a zombie attack. And what do we do tonight? Let's do another lumberjack match between Damian Priest and John Morrison this time. Except everybody was regular. Nikki Cross happened to be out there in this uh lumberjack thing also. So listen, this wasn't a bad match or anything. The only difference is. There were no zombies this time. Okay. Now, there was there several brawls at th throughout this match? Yes. Did Sheldon and Cedric fight each other? Yeah. Um, several times. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, set up a move for everybody to land on top of everybody. Uh, Priest ended up getting the um, reckoning on to Morrison. And then basically say, since he's done with Miz and Morrison now, he wants to live forever. And he wants to accept that open challenge for Bobby Lashley tonight to be the next WWE champion. So... He wants that, but hopefully this thing is over. I don't know why we need to see another Lumberjack match. At least, like I said, at least this was better than the Zombies, okay? Last night was just some ridiculous bullshit. It really was. Worst thing on that damn pay-per-view last night. And I guess there is no Miz, so apparently he may be dead or undead or something. He got eaten alive, so... Zombies, folks. Zombies. No one decided to bring a knife or a machine gun or a machete or a baseball bat or, you know, even New Jack's infamous knife. Just wanted to say something about that real quick. So, um, yeah. Sheldon Benjamin, though, was in the back talking about he wanted to shot the WWE title. Um, Cedric tried to come in and uh, say something, say you're a legend in your own mind. And um, what? Sheldon ended up decking his ass then uh mvp and lashley came out who's gonna accept this open challenge kofi kingston uh came out with xavier woods basically he was the one to accept it and um you know we're still gonna do this but mvp said like it's not for the wwe title you ain't worthy for this title right it's a non-title match so kofi kingston working double duty tonight on monday night raw um, which was a uh, okay match. Not like Kofi's getting another shot at the WWE title or seeing Kofi Mania again, or like we did a couple years ago with his big singles push and whatnot. Drew ended up coming out because MVP was about to use his cane. Uh, Drew used the cane on um Lashley. Kofi got the roll up and uh won the match. Basically, Lashley was pissed after that, and uh, that's when it's showing off the air. So. I was sitting there wondering somewhere. A lot, I'm sure a lot of people were wondering maybe Keith Lee's gonna return tonight. We haven't seen him in a while. I would have thought that too, but no. Nothing against Kofi, but I actually expected it to be a surprise or something that was gonna come out. So I'm surprised they even had Kofi work double duty tonight. But it's not like Kofi's gonna be back in that WWE title picture like he was a few years ago, okay? I'm sure a lot of people would like that, but um that's definitely not happening, alright? So this was just the way you know, I'm sure we'll get Kofi will get a shot and lose, and then you got set up Drew and um Lashley most like most likely a hell in a cell, like I said last night. This match has gotta be the blow off the hell in a cell. That's what I see happening. Okay. But other than that though, that is my review of Monday Night Raw. It was up, down, down, then up. That's what I wanna say. It was down, then if someone got up, it was okay. It's still a bad show. I just thought it was okay. Then again, it's hard to call Raw anything sort of amount of good nowadays. It really is. Unless you find that one bright spot out of the show that's actually good. Which it's like maybe one or two of these bright spots every other week, okay? So yeah, that's what I got to say about Monday Night Raw. At least we didn't see more zombies again. We still got talking puppets and whatnot, but we didn't see any more zombies on this show.
All right. So, yeah. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Peace out.